Hello folks, my name is Jennifer Bautista. I am one of the transfer admission counselors at Seattle University. Um, we will be going over a quick tutorial on how to use and how to navigate our transfer planning worksheets. Um, so we will take a little bit of time to navigate uh, what everything means, how to kind of figure out what your what a student's specific prerequisites are, etc. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is the main page for transfer planning worksheets or guides. Uh, we will have a transfer planning worksheet for every single major, as every major has slightly different prerequisites, recommended coursework, GPA requirements, et cetera. So it's really important that the first step a student does um, if interested in transferring to Seattle University is to really check these transfer planning worksheets out. Uh, to kind of understand what is going to be expected, what is needed of the student um, in order to be considered for admission at Seattle U. So we will do a few examples and take a look at a few different um, transfer planning worksheets. We can go ahead and get started with perhaps a history transfer planning guide. So as you can tell, you just click on the major that you're interested in. It's going to take you to, to another uh, link. And this is actually downloadable and fillable. So students can go ahead and check things off. It has some really great information that we will get into. So the first part here is really important. These minimum admissions requirements are kind of the baseline requirements that Seattle U requires of its transfer students. Um, for history, it's uh, we require a college level math and a college level English. And then there's a suggestion cumulative GPA of 3.0. It's just suggested, so students do not necessarily have to have a 3.0. It's just um, a suggested GPA. Um, so with these two prerequisites, um, these are kind of what we expect students to have when students are transferring. There can be a little bit more flexibility for, for folks transferring if they're coming in maybe as a freshman transfer or as a sophomore transfer. So there's a lot of different ways that students can actually meet this. Um, so if you're a student who maybe does not have one of these, do not worry, feel free to email us or get in touch with us. And we are happy to kind of figure out a way um, so you can apply or maybe provide feedback so you can apply in the near future. So again, don't be discouraged. We're always happy to chat with students and guide them um, through this process. This next section down here is suggested coursework. So as you can see here, it's really important to read all, the, all of these specific blurbs as they provide a lot of great information. Students who meet all admission requirements and suggested coursework listed here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, can anticipate graduating in two years. So, what this is saying is if folks come in with these prerequisites and these requirements, students can potentially graduate within a two year time span, right? The, the true requirements down here are three quarters of foreign language. So if a student does not already speak a foreign language, students will be required to uh, take college level language. Um, this is gonna be three quarters or a year since Seattle U is on the quarter system. The next requirement is a direct transfer associate's degree, so a DTA. So a direct transfer associate's degree is uh, a degree that's offered amongst our uh, colleges within, community colleges within Washington. This is really important to know that it's not just an AA, but rather it's a DTA. This DTA ensures that these, that this degree is gonna come in very smoothly, kind of packaged up, ready to go. The student is gonna start at that junior level. That's why it kind of guarantees that the student is gonna have about two years left uh, to graduation. This is going to provide some more context as to what these classes are. Sometimes it's going to have course numbers over here. We'll get into some of those examples. So very important. And then if you scroll down, uh, there's just some additional uh, information on what other things we may expect. So English profici proficiency. Um, there's a, a whole bunch of different ways that students can meet this uh, requirement. So it gives us information on scores, Duolingo scores, etc. And then 
It also provides information on kind of the core requirement and what uh, our transfer students will have to take at Seattle University. These are kind of our general education classes, but they're very unique to our Jesuit identity, very unique to our Jesuit education that can only be taken at uh, Seattle University. So folks cannot be, cannot complete these courses anywhere else. Um, if a student is coming from another Jesuit institution, sometimes they will transfer. Um, if a student is coming from a public institution or a community college, these will not transfer. These will be, these will need, uh, these will be needing to take uh, at Seattle U. So students will need to take these at Seattle U. We will go ahead and maybe dive into uh, diagnostic or nursing. Uh, let's do nursing. So again, this for nursing students, this is a transfer plan worksheet. It provides all the prerequisite requirements. So nursing has 10 prerequisites that need to be completed. Um, and then additional information, additional requirements for these potential prospective nursing students. So like I mentioned, this preparing to transfer side little table is really helpful because you can actually fill it in. Uh, let's say math 1010, math 115, um, and then what you earn, maybe a 3.5 or something, right? These are fillable students. This is a great resource for students to keep track of everything. Not just that, but again, this, this, SU equivalent course number is going to be extremely helpful when using the transfer equivalency tool. So as I mentioned in the TES video, transfer equivalency tool video, uh, transfer planning worksheets and the transfer equivalency tool are super helpful for our transfer students when using them together. So this course number, when looking for your class, let's go, let, let's say I am at Highline, I took math uh, 115. I need a direct equivalent to 1010. If it's anything less than 1010, it is not going to satisfy. If it's higher, sometimes it can satisfy, sometimes it may not. Um, so it's just important to really be uh, wary of these um, course numbers as they have to be a, a direct equivalent for the most part. Um, again, the same information will be down here for every major English proficiency information, core information for specific to nursing students. Um, and then again, if you want to get in touch with your direct transfer counselor, you can click on these links or schedule a tour campus. Um, it also has a direct link to our transfer equivalency guide. So this resource is really all encompassing um, for our transfer students. We will take a look at one more for perhaps biology. Let's go ahead and take a look at biology. So again, we have prerequisites, we have recommended coursework, um, and then over here, this very important part of 1610, 1611 course numbers, right? Again, fillable, it's really important for these kind of higher prereq majors that if students do not necessarily have all prereqs but have some prereqs or have most of the prereqs um get in touch with your admissions transfer counselor and we are happy to guide you um to either apply or to make a plan um sometimes it's not a problem for folks not to have all of their prerequisites done um like I mentioned here earlier in the video, sometimes if a student is coming in as a freshman or sophomore transfer, they allow a little bit more flexibility for those prereqs to be completed at SU, but only in very specific cases. So um, again, ideally, we are hoping that students will be coming in with all of these prerequisites completed. This is just kind of to help get the student um, help kind of uh, move the student a little bit quicker through the their educational journey at Seattle U. So these minimum admissions requirement, this top portion is really the important part as to what is expected to be completed by the time that the Seattle that the student wants to come to Seattle U. 
So that is it for our transfer plan worksheet tutorial. Again, if you all have any questions, please let us know. You all can get in touch with us via our transfer email. That's going to be transfer at seattleu.edu. Happy to support, happy to guide students if they have any questions on these resources.